So now with technology, we have robotic bronchoscopy, which is allowing us much better precision, much better control in the airway, much better anatomical alignment for the physician actually driving the scope. We're actually driving the scope with a gaming controller, and we're able to steer in any segmental airway that we want to. It's another tool where it's an outer sheath with an inner bronchoscope, so we can drive both together the sheath and the scope traveling together until suddenly it's too small and then we have to unpair them. Then the bronchoscope can go even further and it can steer wherever we need it to go without losing its shape, without deviating from the path that we're steering it to. And we have real vision because it's a bigger working channel. We can actually pass tools through that. And that's allowing us to see things in the distal airways that we honestly have never seen before because the scope has never been able to get there before with good optics. So we're able to pass a variety of instruments from needles to brushes to biopsy forceps. If we want to turn it into a little different location, we're able to steer it to get exactly where we need to go. In patients that have pulmonary nodules that are worrisome for lung cancer that might be enlarging over time or have shown to be enlarging over time, biopsying those nodules is important to get a diagnosis. And each sample that we take we actually have a person in the room that is trained in cytology and pathology that will look at that sample under the microscope to let us know if we're in truly the right place. And then we will continue taking a lot of sample because these days, especially in lung cancer, it is not just about getting a diagnosis anymore. It's now we need to get more and more tissue to assess molecular characteristics of a particular tumor type so that immunotherapy or personalized chemotherapy, those sorts of decisions can be made based upon the molecular profiling of a specific tumor. So the benefits to the patient are to hopefully avoid procedures that are more invasive that they didn't need and ultimately to not have surgery for something that isn't a cancer that they didn't need surgery for to diagnose.